One of the things with energy is, is that if we start to work together, our partners from private industry, NRG, People's Gas, Duquesne Electric, partnering with universities, the University of Pittsburgh in particular, and also Carnegie Mellon University, and partnering with government so that as we see these large developments start to occur in the city of Pittsburgh, we can be on the cutting edge, 21st century model. You know, I know the mayor has developed a smart city strategy. That seems like a real good starting point for a lot of folks. Um, we also have the state plan around clean power and bringing all that together so that we all are sort of rowing in the same direction, heading in the same uh, direction for all of us, really gives us the best result that we're all working together. Here at Duquesne Light, we're busy building the next generation energy company. An energy company with a grid that is resilient, reliable, and affordable. Short term, we're going to see an influx of job growth and diversity. It's, it's going to be great for the city. Anytime you have new innovation happening on a citywide scale, it means that we're going to attract the best and the brightest from all across the country. It also means the best and the brightest born and raised in Pittsburgh are going to stay because it's the best place to be. Our long-term goal for this project would be uh, to see uh, some of the you know, most creative and innovative uh, energy technology you know, right here in the Hill District and to see you know, residents uh, benefit from, uh, from having that technology you know, in their neighborhoods. It's going to help the underserved community the most. Your underserved community, in particular the low income groups, are the ones who most need energy efficiency. The future of the energy industry is changing. The way energy is delivered and generated is changing and becoming much more sustainable through the use of low carbon, no carbon generating resources. We're also seeing generation become more distributed to increase the resiliency of the grid. And as technology like windmills and solar and other types of technology evolve and become more commercial, they'll become more and more economic over time. But interfacing with those technologies, natural gas solutions like combined heat and power, fuel cells, gives us the best of both worlds. We have clean energy, and then we also have the economic advantage of having the cheap gas. I guess one of the things that we know as Pittsburghers is that when we work together, we're able to accomplish anything. Uh, we have certainly seen that happen with the revitalization of our economy and really a, a new city that's emerged from a city that was devastated just 20 years ago. 